What happened to Jay Silver, man? You know what it is? I'm, I, I'll just say that I'm, I'm a failure, ain't it? It's as simple as that. Like, you gotta be accountable, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? There's no point lying and saying, yo, like, something happened and then, then I had to go on the car to something. Mm -hmm. I failed, didn't it? As simple as that. I failed, didn't it? Like, when you take a test, you failed. The worst case, you failed. You didn't know, advise me to do what I can do, what I needed to do. You failed, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? I was there. When I was there, I was like, yeah. Actually, I don't give a shit. What's good, my lady? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video. Equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing. Lit. I already know what time it is. Now let's go. Now, guys, today's topic is going to be about what happened to Jay Silver. The rapper has completely gone off the grid. <laughs> And we're going to break down why that is in this video. But before we get into it, you already know what you got to do. You just got to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to date. If them drop a banger like this one and hit that note, because you ain't in it. So you can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, if you don't know who Jay Silva is, I'll give you a brief summary. He was born in Barrera, Portugal, but grew up in East London after moving here at the age of nine. The rapper rose to prominence in 2015 when he was only 18 with his hit song, See Me Now. I'll play a quick snippet of it for you. Boy, oh boy, does that song take me back. The song currently sits at 11 million views on YouTube, so it was clearly a surefire banger. He even did a remix with Big Tobes, which was quite popular. I think that's on about 3 million views right now as well. And then he continued his success with more popular songs like No Way, Find A Way, and Nothing On Me, which were dropped during the 2016-2017 period, where the UK was pretty much thriving off of the afro swing type of tunes where people like him jay huss notes young bane that era of individuals were eating good they were thriving during that time period and that's facts no Fast forward to 2022 and Jay Silva in this new UK drill rap era of music doesn't really fit into the mold. I'm not going to lie. No one's really heard anything from him. He's been dropping tunes here and there. I will say he's not like a EO and Amelia Monet that went completely off the grid. <laughs> But it doesn't look like any of the songs are really breaking the mold like See Me Now did way back when. And now we know why. Because recently Jay Silver appeared on a podcast called The Renee Washington Show. And he basically answered the title of this video with this to say. What happened to Jay Silver, man? I'm, I'm a failure, isn't it? It's as simple as that. Like, you got to be a coward, would not it? You know what I mean? You failed, isn't it? As simple as that. I failed, isn't it? Like, when you take a test, you failed. The worst case, you failed. You didn't advise me to do what I can do. I need to do it. You failed, isn't it? Now, whilst I do think it's very commendable that Jay Silver has taken accountability and admitted that there's no one to blame for him falling off other than himself, that doesn't really give us anything tangible to work with. Like, yeah, it's your fault, but, you know, what does that really mean? Like, were you not going to the studio as much? Were you not writing enough good bars? Were you not showing up to performances? Were the songs you were dropping just bad? Like, we kind of need more depth. So I had to kind of you know, read between the lines to figure out what exactly he meant by that. And in the full video, he mentioned how there was a couple of artists that are big in the UK now that at the time were not big at all. And they were DMing him, I'm guessing, trying to work with him or maybe just showing him love and support. And he was thinking like, who is this guy? This guy is nothing compared to me. He was he was on his high horse. So my guess is that he was too big for his boots. He didn't want to do features like that. He thought he was the big I am. He had this song that was blowing up everywhere and he thought no one could touch him. He didn't think his 15 minutes of fame was going to end. And then Icarus flew too close to the sun and eventually... We also have to point out the very obvious fact that the UK scene has been evolving year by year. And if you're not able to adapt, then you die, basically. As you all know, you know, we're now in this drill era of the uk rap scene and someone like jay silver doesn't necessarily fit into that mold but lit tie you say jay huss doesn't necessarily fit into that mold either and you'd be completely right with that statement however jay huss has built his brand up so well that he doesn't need to fit into any mold he's established himself so much that people will just ride for any music that he drops regardless of whether or not it fits into the current era or current landscape of the uk rap scene that we're in whereas a jay silver has nowhere near that level of establishment so sticking to his afro swing sound 
is a luxury that he can't necessarily afford. And if you really don't believe me and really don't think that people need to adapt and change to the current landscape, just go back and listen to Central C's old tunes. I'm talking his old tunes from like 2017, 2018. Go back and listen to those tunes. Central C sounded like he was the fourth member of D Block Europe on some of those tunes. Like, but it made sense because that's what was popping at that time. That's that kind of sound, that trap auto tune sound. That's what was popping at that time. And he was trying to catch the wave. Unfortunately, he didn't catch the wave. And then by the time 2020 came around, we were completely immersed in the new drill era and he said yeah i think even his manager said to him yeah you got to, you got to switch your sound man i think you sound better when you do your drill thing so then he did the drill thing and it worked for him so yeah i mean there's kind of proof in the pudding that you you adapt or you die basically some people adapt like sench and some people die like jay silver the only way i can say that you would curb that and or you could add in a caveat in there is unless of course the songs are just so unbelievably good that it doesn't matter what genre you're doing it in you can just catch another hit and i do say that every rapper is always one hit away so jay silver could drop a tune tomorrow and completely change the game and completely change his fate so i don't think he should completely write himself out of the equation yet yes you did fail but there's always time for you to come back. Do I think that will happen though? I think not. Probably not. I don't think Jay Silver's got the juice like that to bring it back. I'm sorry. I'm so. I. I'm sorry. I just have to keep it on it. I'm sorry. I just don't think he's got the juice like that. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Maybe he does. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But from what I can see. I don't know if he's got the juice like that to adapt. Also mentioned in the video that when he made See Me Now, he was broke. So he didn't have any money in the bank and he wasn't feeling good. Well, maybe he was feeling good, but he didn't have any money in the bank. So all those times when <laughs> you're thinking See Me Now, money in the bank. That's not the way you sing that song, man. This guy didn't have no money in the bank. This guy got charged. He charged £50 for a performance at Team Fest. £50. Bonkers. Absolutely abysmal. Yeah, either way, it looks like he's doing good for himself right now. He started a software engineering degree at university. So I guess he's trying to make a change for himself. But as I said, it's a pretty big fall from grace. I won't lie to you. And I do I think he can get it back and get back in the game. In this current UK drill era, it seems highly unlikely unless he completely switches up his sound and his style. But as I said, if the song's unbelievably good, then you know people can't ignore it. So anything's possible. But in the words of Heady One, it's a bit of a sticky one still. Let me know if you this in the comment section down below. What do you think of Jay Silver? What did you think of See Me Now? Comment below when you used to listen to that song. When that song came out, what year was you in, etc, etc. And do you think Jay Silver could get another hit and restart his career? You let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. But on the road to 2,000 subs, you know what time it is. You can follow my personal IG at the only lit entity. If you care about what I do, I'm not making these bangs for you. I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there because what else you do with your life? Absolutely nothing, mate. Stay black. And if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. I bet. Peace. Well, you ain't know I can sing.